Hello, welcome to the old guy show. Sure. I hear you're interested in a jewelry. Yes. Tell me, what makes, you think, what makes you think you're a good name? What's the job? They're working at a cheese factory with some delicious herbs used for the paying customers. Oh, you think this is funny? No. Alright, then tell me, what makes you think you're better than any other smug out there? I have previous experience with food. Oh, really? Yeah. Tell me more. About my past experiences? No, tell me about your love life. Of course it's about your past experiences with food. I had to make burgers. Burgers with cheese? Yeah. Oh, excellent. Yeah. Uh, tell me. Any other experiences with work or anything like that? This is a manufacturing plant of cheese. I used to work at a factory. Oh, good. And what did you do there? Make cardboard boxes. Boxes? Did you ever see my friend uh, Snake running around? No. Mm, he probably wasn't. He's pretty good at hiding. <laughs> uh, what was what your duty as the, uh, the box maker? Put them on the carts and the people took them away. That sounds rather boring. So what did you do? You just put it on the cart? Mm -hmm. That's all you did? Twelve hours of it. Mm. Well, you cardboard boxes onto uh, little pulleys and they took it to the machines. It turned into boxes. I took the cardboard after it was cut and put it on the machines. Interesting. So you take the boxes, which is now just cardboard, and the machine turns into boxes. Interesting. Blurry mm. man. Okay, uh, so tell me, what makes you think you uh, would want to work here out of all the other manufacturing plants or other food places? How's the pay? Uh, I'm asking you questions right now, Stanley. You can ask questions later. What, I, what I'm trying to ask you is, uh, why did you choose this place of employment rather than someone else? I heard about it. A friend? <laughs> Sources. Oh. Friends. You like? With benefits? No. Er, that's a sad story. Alright then. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what. If we were to take you in, and we're uh, just as you know what way you're looking, no. But if we were to take you in, what, what qualities as a person, because we already know what to do with our uh, work, what kind of qualities as a person would you bring to a new environment? Hard working. Mm-hmm, so you're hard, go on. Team player. Oh, so you're hard and team play. Okay. <laughs> Have a good work ethic. Yeah, so you're hard and you work out. Nice. Sick bastard. Oh, and uh, you call her your, uh, not just the boss, but the owner of the factory <laughs> sick. Interesting. I don't have a fever, if that's what you mean. If it were a family kind of thing, like, because I've seen other businesses do this, do you see yourself as, like, a uh, little brother or the crazy uncle, or what do you see yourself in the family business tree, so to speak? A little brother. You, you don't have to choose one of the two. It could be any part of the family. That's what I'm picking. Okay, can't make up his own mind. I should have to make it for him. All right, um, uh, do you have any questions now? Uh, what's the pay grade? Yeah, it depends how hard you work, and uh, that's just negotiable. It's very basic paycheck. And sometimes you owe me money. <laughs> Why would I work to owe you money? Well, it's not my fault if you start eating cheese. <laughs> not a steal. A thief. Well, that's why you're paying. I, I've had people before just take a corner of cheese, start eating out of it. You know, when we were confronted with them, they say, don't worry. I'd let you know if I was eating something. So a day, so a day, they say, just take it on my paycheck and go, okay. One guy actually ate too much cheese and he uh, got a bill rather than a check. <laughs> Not my fault. And boy, was he constipated. Then he tried to shoot us. It's disgusting. I know. Some people, what would you do if you got an employee stealing? I tell him not to do it. And if they did it anyway? I'd have to go tell my boss. <laughs> I like that, buddy. Snitch. I'm not gonna snitch. I give him a fair warning. Let's <laughs> trust that out, man. Well, in that case, mm, which is fun. Now, um, what position would, were you interested in? 
labor management. Okay, and what kind of management skills do you have? I've told a couple people what to do once or twice. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're very close to just break room and smoke room. That's alright. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for approving. Mm -hmm. Where were we? Okay. Management. Yes, I am manager. I thought you were the CEO. I'm everything. You run it by yourself? Yes, at times. Speaking of which, what do you think about the rumor of spreading around about using orphans as a fuel source? <laughs> orphans as a fuel source? So you haven't heard of it? No. Good, good, good. That's very good. Someone started a rumor and getting all kinds of things looking into it. It's a complete falsehood, but people just keep going on about it. See, one little joke and now everyone thinks you're some kind of necromancer. And yet, I don't even like that kind of food. <laughs> it's terrible. I know, right? It's a good check on your profile, by the way. Agree with me. So, uh, again, what kind of skills as management were you uh, looking for or would implement? As a manager? Yeah, you know, why should I make you manager? Because I have experience. By putting flat pieces of cardboard on a, on a truck. Yes, yeah. that's quite a manager. Yeah, at restaurants, I've told people what to do. I've run shifts. Like, like what? I've run shifts. Like what? What did you tell them to do? Make sure they're doing their job. Make sure they keep the floor clean, the product oh, okay. going. That's right. A hard working man. Interesting. So, uh, let's see. I got you. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, yes, uh, we've got to do this other form of paperwork. Uh, here it is. Um, are you uh, white, Hispanic, African American? White. Sure. Mm -hmm. yeah, you look kind of blurry to me. <laughs> it's your cataracts. Oh, what's it? I don't have any cats. I'm white. Oh, okay. If you, by the way, these are optional questions. You don't have to answer them if you don't want to. Okay. And uh, gender? Male. Really? I'd be a pretty ugly woman, wouldn't I? I didn't want to say. I'm a male. You don't have to lie. I'm not lying. Okay. Tuck that down real quick. Sensitive buttons. Getting inside. Feet don't know the male. And uh, can't quite read that one. Please, are you, uh, do you have any felonies? No. Never had any problems with the law. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it won't change, uh, it won't give you a bad rep or anything. We just need to make sure. So are you sure you don't have anything wrong, even uh, outstanding warrants, wanted for murder, theft? No. Insider trading? No. <laughs> Random cases of fits? No, I'm, I'm mentally stable. <coughs> That's what they all say. Oh, uh, speaking of uh, mentally stable, um, not to pry too much, but uh, when you have your period, are you one of the people that get a little cranky or a Oh man, I don't have that. I told you that. Okay. If you insist. Yeah, uh, tell me about your family. What's it have to do with the job? Mm -hmm. Family is very important. Don't you agree? Yeah, but they're not going to be working here. I will. Yes, but family can still influence you outside of work, and then you bring that influence to work. No, I don't talk to my family about my job. But you just said it was important to have family. Yeah, but I don't mix business with family. Yeah, so you don't mix business with pleasure. No. Mm -hmm. So, uh, do you like cheese? Yeah. Do you find it pleasurable to eat? I'm not going to eat while I'm at work. Yeah, so you say. But dang nabbit, when it comes to lunch break, you will eat something, I'm sure. Yeah, you're not too great. Oh, did I say that out loud? Yeah. I'm sorry. I'll give you a few good checks for that one. Mm -hmm. So, uh, which part of the management were you looking into? Because we don't really have many openings for that. We have more of the laborers or whatever. I'll take whatever job you want to give me. Oh, good. We could use someone to sell the poop. What? 
Well, we try to be as green friendly as possible for our urchies. So, uh, we, uh, we don't use orphans, we use manure. It's down in the basement where it's, 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 it doesn't get any winners. Very, very filtered, very clean. But, uh, uh, someone just came out in the break room. Uh, you just bring in some uh, manure from, we, uh, well, depending on which position you're at. We bring manure from local farms or whatnot. And uh, you shovel that into the furnace, and that heats up the furnace. That smells terrible, burning <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's gonna smell like crap. That's why we have it filtered so it doesn't affect any of the product. It's, you filter the shit? Yes. yes. Alright. So, what, uh, you want to be a poo shoveler? No. I'm above that. You just said you would do anything. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot. I might dig down as a liar. You never, never asked me that. <laughs> you said you were a man. Yeah. That has nothing to do with the job, gender. It depends what kind of job you're taking. Not here, by the way. Somewhere else. Wink, wink. It's disgusting. <laughs> Says you. You're the one that burns shit. I'm trying to be green and friendly to the environment. What, <laughs> what are you doing to be nice to the environment? Nothing. Yeah, that's not too good. We we pride ourselves on being a very green company, even if it is just a fad. <laughs> so, uh, that's right. You you wanted questions like the pay and what? And, uh, yeah. What's the pay grade? Well, depending on the position. If, if you're a boo shoveler, it's about a dollar an hour. If your management's but roughly low twenties, high fifties. It depends where you are on management. Well, I guess I'd be a laborer and work my way up then. They still do that. Well, you own the company. No, I mean in other places. Yeah. How about Barry? She was a higher French family. Oh well. Um, well, in that case, what kind of laboring position did you want? Did you want to uh, make sure the seed quality is good? Did you want to make sure... I'll be a taste tester. I'll make sure the quality is good. Mm, no, no. That's actually a management position. Then why'd you offer it? <laughs> I'm talking about visual checks. Mold. Melted cheese. Cheese is mold. You can grow mold on top of the cheese. You know, the furry county. And not the ones on the internet. Fine, I'll check the cheese. Alright, alright. You can also cut the cheese. They come in a huge cube, sometimes in barrels, so you can just cut it up into the proper uh, bit. The cheese cutter? Yes. I'll do that. We also have people to uh, mix the cheese and ingredients while it's still in liquid form. We have people making sure the temperatures are regulated. We have many things. Like even just making sure that the, uh, the poo fire is uh, regulated properly. <laughs> We have all kinds of things. You name it, you got it. <laughs> or rather, we have it. Or rather, I have it. What spots are available? <laughs> We're looking to cut down some people because they've been uh, lackluster. So, <laughs> other than management, you can pretty much take any job here you want. Well, offer me a job. That's what we're doing. <laughs> I already offered you all kinds of things, like visual check, cheese cutter. I'll, maybe I'll be a visual check. Visual check? Okay. Uh, how good is your job set anyway? 2020. Mm. Yeah. We do, we do <laughs> require people to go through at least an eye examination for day one. That's fine. Alright, now how many fingers am I holding up? None. Okay, you bet. Alright, good. <laughs> now, um, was there any other questions like um, insurance? Yeah, or? I was going to ask, do you guys have insurance? Yes, we do. This plant is insured in case there's anything that causes a fire or whatnot, so the plant is safe. What about me? <laughs> well, that's what the fire exits are for. <laughs> so if I get hurt at work, you know, workman's comp. Why are you getting yourself hurt by looking at cheese? There's machines, aren't there? What are you doing near the machines if you're just staring at cheese going by on the computer? Accidents <laughs> happen. Accidents are preventable. Yeah, but not all the time. No, that's the kind of attitude that we might get you fired someday. A positive attitude on oh, life gives you a positive outlook in the end. If you say so. Oh, I know so. <laughs> well, that do every day. Any other questions about the herb? Mm, when can I start? Hmm, a very good question. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you want my phone number so you can get a hold of me when I can start? Yeah, you 
sit in the application, right? Yeah. I had it on there, right? Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Alright. Let's just hope they don't mix it up with the manure fire. So, uh, anyway. Well, why would job applications be mixed in with shit? <laughs> well, if they aren't used, they might as well be recycled. Okay. Don't worry, we'll contact you if it ends up missing. So, anyway. <laughs> I don't like peanut calories. They make me feel like an elephant. <laughs> and I remember! Every game. Dream of which, uh, what, what, what are we? Remember! How how you get a hold of me? Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the application, that's right. Um, let's see. Uh, and with benefits, yes, you do get a... F well, we don't really do discounts because it's different storage and different things. We can't control what they do, but at the you're allowed. Uh, what was it? Again, it depends on the position. But for uh, cheese, check your under conveyor. No taste. That was roughly about. That's right. About a 16 ounce bag of finely cut cheese once a month. That's not bad. It's a 16 ounce bag. It's about EB. That's the only benefits I get? Free bag of cheese. <laughs> What's wrong with her cheese? It's the best cheese around. You you think that's not enough? No, it's not enough. Oh, what did you have in mind? I need medical coverage. I thought you said you were mentally stable. I am. What if something happens? Why would something happen? Is it your family? <laughs> no. What if I get hurt at work? Again with this. Why are you trying to get hurt at work? Nobody tries to get hurt at work. <laughs> then you shouldn't need insurance. However, if Obamacare does go through, we will give people insurance. Um, from what my uh, accountants have told me, we're uh, we're gonna get this one insurance. I forget the name of it, but uh, you will be covered for uh, basically everything really: medical, dental, eye care, and uh, even disability leave if needed. Women don't get that though, because they get pregnant. <laughs> we, we would pay out the nose for that, and you know how bad that is. Oh, yeah. We're busy. We, make money. we don't make money by writing out checks. No. <laughs> I like your style. But, um, anyway, basically, uh, the, uh, the checks, uh, are, we went, oh, yes, the, uh, the, 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 the insurance. Um, depending on how much you want covered, because it's optional to take off certain things, if you get the full coverage, it's a bad gem, three hundred dollars paycheck. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> well, we offer it. It's not our fault. I'm better off just risking getting hurt. Well, if that's your choice, we offered it. <laughs> All right. Now, if you get management position, if you work your way up, if you still believe in that and hocus pocus, it's only like a dollar that you have paycheck. Okay, I swear. Okay. Um, there's something about that. I wanted to tell you. Um. Oh good, I used to write that to scratch again. Mm, gee, I really wish I had these papers organized. Half of them are just blank. Let's take notes on how uh, mentally insane you might be. Which, good news is, I'm only using half a paper right now. Most people have a whole sheet. That's good. Oh, that reminds me. Uh, how are you with sleepovers? Sometimes we work 24 hour shifts. A sleepover? Yeah, you can kind of sleep out of the, uh, on the uh, 25th hour. There's no 25th hour. <laughs> yes, there is. See, what I'm saying is 25 hours straight. You do 24 hour, 24 hours of work, and then for one hour more, you rest. 24 hours of work and you get one hour of sleep. Well, we allow you to. We have we we sometimes convert the break room into a uh, bunk bed area, like a barracks. So long as you bring your own sleeping bag, and your own pillows, and your own fruit, and your own drink, and your own bathroom, and your own uh, diaper, you're fine. <laughs> a diaper? <laughs> well, sometimes you, we don't allow people to go on body breaks. It's, it's a waste of time. Same thing with smoke breaks, chew breaks. Uh, the only break we're, we give, because we legally have to, is give you a lunch break. And that's about a... Uh, they actually extended it since the last interview with the other guy. I believe it's now a uh, five minutes. A five minute lunch break. You put it in your mouth, you swallow, and then you go back to work. What's the problem? Nothing. Uh, 
and that's what I do. Shave it. I but I do enjoy your time together. I don't get I don't I don't get to talk to many people anymore. It's a little creepy. Mm -hmm. So you're not gay or a pedophile? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's Jim Henson. Jim Henson? I forget which, I forget which one I'm talking about. Jerry Sandusky? Who? Is that who you're thinking about? Who's he? The guy from Penn State that raped all those kids? Why are you looking up such things? I'm not! You call Jim Henson a pedophile. Which one was he again? He did the Muppets. Oh, that's not who I want at all. Who are you thinking of? I was thinking of that guy that talks to pedophiles. Yeah, Chris Hansen. Uh, is he Chris a girl's name? Uh, can be. Wait a minute. What are we talking about this? You said Jim Hansen was a pedophile. No, no, no. You meant Chris Hansen. No, no, no. Back up a second. Why are we talking about this when we're talking about your jord? You say you don't get like to talk. You don't, you don't get to talk to people a lot. You get closer to me. It's creepy. <laughs> I'm sorry that your boss finds you interesting. That's one thing. But don't touch me. I didn't touch you. This is touching you. Hmm. Oh, by the way, the, the, the recording we have here going on, we might have forgot to mention about this. Uh, you can't use it in the court of law, but we can. <laughs> For what? In case you attack me. In case you try to attack you? <laughs> How would I do that? Hey, I, have, I don't know if you're mentally stable or not, even if you claim you are. <laughs> I'm stable. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're talking about pedophiles and whatnot. You know, I said Jim Henson was a pedophile. Anyway, <laughs> pointing fingers, blaming others. <clears throat> so, uh, so basically, you just want to check the cheese for about uh, two fifty an hour and uh, <laughs> the three hundred dollar benefits, and give or take. Two dollars and fifty cents an hour. My insurance costs three hundred dollars a month. Yes, well, we're we, not going to get any further ahead. Well, we offer overtime, twenty-four hour work. They remember? Hey, it's not my fault the economy sucks. Otherwise, you'd be working somewhere better, like uh, I don't know, McDonald's, or even better, Walmart. Walmart. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about them, please. <laughs> Such bad service. So, uh, speaking of service, sometimes we have to deal with customer phone calls. Um, it's usually a manager routine, so you might not get it, but sometimes you have to go on buddy breaks. They're not there, by the way. Um, if they ask you to take care of a phone call, how do you handle customers? An irate customer. Let's be nice to them. Okay, we'll have a little example. Ring, ring. Hello? Ring, ring! Hello? Hello? Who's this? I'm an irate <laughs> customer. You're an irate customer? Don't call me irate. You just said you were irate. Oh, I want to speak to a manager and when they say that you failed. We'll try it one more time. <laughs> ring, ring! Hello? Ring, ring! <laughs> Hello? Hello? I'm an irate customer. I'm angry! <laughs> What seems to be the problem? My problem is that the fine product that I have bought is, as I claim, improperly produced, even though it's a pure and fictitious lie. What? <laughs> Do I need to repeat myself? Is that a bad thing? No, I'll get a manager for you. No, you need to handle it because the manager's in the bathroom. Do I really have to hold your hand when we do this? What do you want me to do? Take care of the customer. I'm doing that! Then stop trying to pedal it off to someone else. The manager's up. Let me see that damn hair before. Yeah. We've had enough? Get out.
probably even give them injuries. We need that kind of gusto to get people back to work. <laughs>